Hello, my name is Michał Marawski and I like to present the research concerning multipath quick protocol applied to, to general purpose networking. What's wrong with TCP? Uh, TCP is a workhorse of, of today internet uh, from different sources. 90-95% uh, of traffic is under control of TCP. A way of peer, and, uh, of peer identification is uh, um, perform using tuple address uh, port number uh, and if we uh, move from one uh, network to another uh, the connection breaks because this tuple changes uh, on the different sources again uh, 5, 50 60 percent of today traffic um, uh, originates or ends on mobile devices, so this problem is important. And the answer on this uh, problem is multipath transmission. First multipath transmission protocol was developed 20 years ago. There are other uh, successors, uh, however, uh, none of them uh, gained broader um, acceptance because of the lack of compatibility with firewalls. MPTC protocol developed eight years ago, um, met, has met um, enthusiastic response from researchers and engineers. Uh, again, what's wrong with TCP? You have multiple subflows. If you have multi, the multiple subflows merge in the, in the, uh, within the single flow, uh, then the subflows interact with each other. This interaction uh, caused bad behavior of uh, of uh, some applications, on many applications. Uh, to answer this uh, problem, Quick Protocol has been developed by Google uh, six years ago, and uh, this protocol is designed for ATGP2, but can be used, of course, in general networking uh, as well. Currently, about 5% of uh, websites use uh, Quick Protocol, and this number grows as a report, uh, as shows this report. Um, why do not merge uh, the, the, this research? This is done four years ago. Multipath Quick uh, Protocol has been developed. Uh, it takes um, ready for use modules from, uh, from uh, Quick protocols, this path manager, uh, main controller and path scheduler from, uh, from MPTCP protocol and path controllers from, uh, from uh, TCP, uh, from ordinary uh, TCP protocol. However, this, uh, this uh, borrowing, this code is not copy and paste. And uh, all these modules should be adjusted slightly to different principles of the new protocol. Not so easy. The multipath transition protocol is not a panaceum um, because uh, it uh, must preserve the string coherency. There are two um, phenomena which reinforce each other, influences the string coherency. Buffer bloat, it uh, increases a buffer, uh, uh, increases of, uh, of uh, delay caused by filling up the uh, buffers of routers intermediate routers, and head of line blocking. There are two kinds of head of line blocking. First of them is stream head of line blocking. Let's assume blue stream is uh, argent but low volume, and uh, green and red is um, uh, general purpose streams. Uh, the common transport is fillable with general purpose streams data here, and uh, new uh, segment or frame from blue streams must wait until this data is transmitted because it's not a way to withdraw data from the network. And here, then this stream must wait until the urgent stream must wait until this this one not urgent will be uh, transmitted. And uh, path scheduler, path scheduler is um, has different origin. If you have um, if, uh, stream is split over three paths and from some reason uh, blue path is uh, throttle then the data uh, arriving from the red and green channels here is arriving however cannot be 
deliver it to, uh, to uh, receiver until S plus to blue uh, segment is uh, delivered. Uh, this increased the, the protocol delay much. How we evaluate the, 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 the protocol? Uh, first of all, multipath efficiency. Multipath efficiency is standard uh, coefficients given by the equation like this. And uh, again, uh, it's gain range, uh, it, it is in a range minus one to plus one, where plus one means full exploitation, fully, the, the path are fully used. Uh, and uh, zero means uh, the, the multipath transmission has, capacity, has throughput um, equal to, to one of the paths. And uh, minus one means uh, transmission is stalled. Uh, however, in our cases, we have used dynamic version of, of, of these coefficients, uh, and this value should be uh, should be as close to, to as, as high as possible. Uh, stream uh, head of line blocking measure is uh, the experiment is the same throughput and the same delay using for all substreams, or if some policy is applied. Uh, then obey the rules of the uh, policy. Uh, the path head of line blocking in this protocol delay should not exceed RTT uh, on, on a path. To, uh, to evaluate the algorithm, we have built uh, the simple setup. And the client is, uh, is Linux, Windows, uh, Raspberry Pi, and other, uh, and other stations using um, uh, wireless LAN is connected to two different um, internet providers, large internet providers, and uh, the, the paths are, uh, are merged in uh, university, in university data center where high performance server is uh, located. First of first, uh, um, we need to analyze TCP uh, path controllers, uh, simply path controllers. We will see single path and multi path version of Quick. We will see hi, here buffer bloat, drops, drops, and here as well drops. Uh, and therefore, assertedly, on, uh, this is a very aggressive algorithm, Quick, uh, Cubic, uh, very aggressive. Uh, Algorithm results in large um, SRTT obtained in some cases. In case of multipath, less aggressive algorithm, this uh, the SRTT is uh, lower. As a side effect of uh, SRTT problems, we have uh, we see delay uh, of the uh, of the application delay protocol. Here we we'll see recovering uh, data. Um, dropped packets on the primary paths and on secondary paths. Uh, the problem here, we'll see the problem on multipath uh, version uh, where the drops were not observed, but buffer bloat still exists, so uh, less. Uh, therefore, the problem will uh, appear will appear uh, in some time. Uh, throughput, we'll see uh, on the uh, single path quick, the throughput is higher than in case of multipath quick. This again a result of uh, more aggressive, uh, more aggressive uh, congestion control algorithm. Uh, um, path scheduler uh, evaluation, we'll see. Uh, one stream over two paths, very flat RTT, very flat RTT, uh, very flat uh, protocol delay, not very flat, but, uh, but uh, acceptable uh, throughput, and unfortunately, uh, decreasing uh, protocol efficiency. Unfortunately, we don't know why this effect is, uh, the, why, the effect, uh, why this effect appears. It's not always present, but very often. Uh, it requires further research. Uh, multi stream scheduler evaluation. 
um, multipath quick, two paths, multiple streams we have. All the streams are exactly the same, and new stream appears exactly two seconds after the previous. We'll see a uh, buffer bloat, yes, and uh, but uh, adjustment to the common uh, speed for the, for both um, for, for all the streams are uh, very fast, and this result should be uh, should be uh, recognized as a very good. However. If the blue stream is, is, has different properties, this is constant bit ratio stream, uh, short bursts, uh, about uh, average throughput about one and a half megabits per second. We see here large oscillation, but kept in bounds, and much worse, much worse adjustment of uh, of speed for uh, for remaining. Um, for the remaining uh, streams, substreams, and if you have um, privileged streams, as here we'll see um, lower uh, delays because it's privileged. However, here and here we'll see the adjustment is much worse. Well, the speed adjustment is much worse. Therefore, a stream scheduler works perfectly if the stream has the same the same properties but uh, for different properties it works incorrectly other artifacts notified um, we see it is rush hours transmission and we'll see here a series of drops and recovering from series of drops and here we'll see the, the same effect on the throughput how unfortunately this effect is much worse on the privileged streams than on unprivileged streams. So this should be corrected uh, definitely. And other problems, we have uh, two streams, uh, two, two, two paths uh, with uh, evaluation of certainties like this or like this, and the uh, uh, protocol delay oscillate between these uh, this, this, this lines. And privileged stream oscillates much more than unprivileged streams here orange. This should be corrected as uh, definitely, but it is the effect of um, lack of, of cooperation between schedulers. Conclusion. MPEG Week uh, inherits benefits from his predecessor, but is not aggressive, but not as, as aggressive as them. Um, therefore, it uh, promises uh, lower throughput, but better, but, uh, but uh, better jitter, lower jitter. Some artifacts are observed. The main reason of this artifact is buffer flow susceptibility. And this should be uh, corrected in the first uh, in the first um, uh, first order. Um, multipath efficiency drop uh, is uh, observed often, and this reason is unknown. And delay oscillation, uh, if uh, if path is asymmetric, is requires um, cooperation between schedulers. Mm. Um, firewalls uh, do not affect them back quick. I don't know with this benefits or, 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 or uh, drawback. It depends on application as well as user space implementation. It uh, is uh, it is uh, on, uh, also uh, benefit of drawback. It depends on application. Thank you a lot. Question, please.